Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster. Remember guys, leave a like, leave a comment, something to let me know if you are enjoying the series and want to continue to see more in the future. We're still working on the interior city for our renaissance slash medieval themed theme park. And I forgot to tell you guys last time, after the viewer suggestions, I did uh, choose one of them. I modified a little bit. A viewer left a suggestion that was uh, King Lake, and I like that, but I think King's Lake sounded cooler. So we're, the new name of this park is now King's Lake. I like it. It makes sense. We got a big old lake in the middle. And right now over here, we're just uh, modifying some of our houses just to get a little bit of a variation. So basically, uh, took the roof off, added another floor, and then brought it back up. And then just modifying them a little bit just to make them look a little nicer. This one over here, I wanted to add a balcony, uh, but I didn't want it to be actual part of the structure because I mean, it wouldn't look good if it was the full floor. So we just take it over here and make it up as we go. We basically finish the 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 city the interior city this episode there's still a little bit of detailing stuff to do uh, throughout the park but for the most part we do finish it and in the next episode we'll actually be working on the castle and i'm really excited for that it's gonna be awesome it's gonna take a long time to record though you <laughs> know it's probably gonna be a couple days for me to get that done I, I i'm still not sure exactly what kind of style i want to go with but i i'm pumped just to build something that big and to get our coaster up and you guys know I hate these big yellow entrances. They're so dumb. We're going to be able to move them in the past, but for now, I'm just uh, trying to figure out a way to cover them because I did want to use the actual ride signs. So let's see, I was looking for uh, Star Wheel. I think that's what it's called. It's somewhere in there. I, I didn't realize they were at the bottom and they're all in alphabetical order, so it's a lot easier once you realize that. And then this one is the Venetian Carousel. So we toss a little sign up there. And this one is the Whirly Rig. I think something like that. Just moving those houses a little closer because I, I really wanted these entrances to feel like an alleyway kind of weaving in and out of our city. And I think we we, we completed that task. And then I took these uh, driftwood planks and just kind of wrapped them around these parts just to kind of cover them. And it came out pretty good looking. It's not bad. This episode is not quite as fast. I slowed it down a little bit because we're doing a lot of like small nitty gritty stuff. Moving the camera a little too much, honestly, but... To get all these details done, I do need to move the camera, so I only slowed it down like a hundred and or probably like six times speed. So do four times speed and then 150 times that or 150 percent. So yeah, six times speed as opposed to like the eight or nine like we've been doing in the past. And we're still copying and pasting stuff, and I know it's kind of lazy, but it would just take way too long to build brand new unique buildings every time. So at least when I when I copy and paste them, for the most part, I try and, if they're near other types of buildings, I try and add them a little bit. Like this one, I wanted it right there, so I just chop uh, basically a third of it off, or half of it off, and then just close it off there. So it, it looks similar to the other buildings, but it's not the exact same one now. And I try not to put uh, too many of the same buildings by each other. I mean, we have a total variation of like... I think eight or nine different buildings, so it's not horrible. And then behind the shop area where we have the drink and food stand, I just uh, decided to fill it in with some supplies and paths and some barrels and ladders. And over here, I tried making a little park. I really didn't want any green in this area. We're gonna have green and lush stuff over by the castle, but for the main city part, I want it to be just like a city area, densely packed, just buildings. In fact, at some point, we just paint all the terrain uh, brown just because I didn't want any green in here. And it's kind of hard to build buildings underneath this, just because uh, the area of the coaster, or not the coaster, the ferris wheel only allows you to build, uh, like, it's so, so high underneath it until you start intersecting the area that the actual ride takes up. Over here, I just wanted to make a nice little well, so I decided to line it with some rocks. All the rocks are a little too dark in the shade, they look like they're black. Maybe in the future we can get some lighter rocks. And over here, I was trying with some different ideas. I know I wanted to do a bathroom. We don't have any bathrooms in the actual city yet. Actually, we don't have any bathrooms in the entire park. So the one way over here in the city is the only one. We should probably add one closer to the entrance at some point, presumably. But then I decided, okay, we'll just build a new structure inside of the actual park. And instead of building them all the way out outside. Because I wanted something that would actually fit in this area. And then we'll copy and paste it around later. So just going with the standard design. I'm using the stucco walls because I like the I like the colors of them. If they're a little bit more white, that'd be cool. That's the benefit of the building next to it where I use the roofs to kind of fill in the wall area, those uh, stone roofs. So I might change that up a little bit. And then we're just doing our standard, grabbing these roofs, use them to uh, tell us where to go. There's a kind of a guideline. And I wasn't sure which piece to use as the roof here. I tried a couple. There, there are some other wooden signs where I was, I was checking out the back of them, see what kind of textures they had. In the end, I just decided to go with these guys because 
They look so good. It's relatively simple. Easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Then just copy up there. That's the nice thing about snapping it to the grid. It's super simple. And then we just delete the blue walls or the blue roof pieces. Then copy and paste it two more times to finish up the back. Looking all right. Now we just got to fill in the middle here. I really want a variation. I just need more pieces that I can use like this. Because technically I could use the driftwood pieces, but that would take forever because they're very small. And they're 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 too much broken off a of pattern. They're not... I'm conflicted about them. They're not plain enough for me, especially if we're doing something this big. Like, we've used the driftwood pieces to fill some of the roof arches previously, but never a, a, on a scale this big. I don't think they would look good in a scale that big. This is much better looking just to use actual wood pieces. And then we just grab those fence posts as, uh, as the horizontal beams in the structure. And just copy and paste them over. All over. I don't think I spaced those out right. It doesn't quite look right to me. <laughs> Especially the front ones, but whatever. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. In fact, that's that's what's going to make things look better, is to not have things perfectly symmetrical all the time. Not necessary. Do another little balcony over here. These driftwood pieces were uh, giving me a bit of a... A bit, give, give, give me a bit of trouble because the long ones were too long the short ones are too short so I'm like, okay we'll just do multiple short ones does that work sounds like a plan hmm I gotta stop doing these voiceovers in the morning my throat's always sore in the morning well, it was not sore it's just not warmed up yet but I gotta get this stuff up because it is Sunday filling in the roofs there or the windows then I wanted to do this is really annoying because I couldn't get these stupid things to fit it's not perfectly 45 degrees, so I must have not made it a perfect square, because if it was a perfect square, then 45 degrees would be good. They don't know. Whatever, so we just kind of tinker with it, just kind of slide it back and forth, make sure it's nice and lined up. And then we do two of them, and then those we can just take and copy and paste all over. I guess it doesn't make too much sense to have those behind the windows, because that would kind of block the, the path of the windows, but it still looks nice, right? It's not bad looking. It also just helps to fill in the space. I mean, this is something you see very common in medieval structures. It must be some sort of support system. I'm not sure of the exact uh, the, the exact intention, but yeah, it looks all right. And I really didn't like this roof. I was thinking about like trying to chop off part of it. I just wasn't really enjoying it. But then I was like, okay, we'll just add some molding to it. It's kind of going up up top. And I think this really helped it quite a bit. Again, just breaking up the flatness, making it three dimensional, making the different colors really helps there. Looks a lot nicer now. I'm like, okay, that looks pretty good, so we'll copy and paste it over here. Add another bathroom to the other side of the city. Looking all right. And then I noticed there there's people flying. That was interesting. Uh, so off camera, I did uh, go and I painted everything, so the terrain is now all black. And up here, what I wanted to do, I wanted to make people go up here. I decided I want to see people up there. So what we're going to do, we're going to remove this wood path. Uh, we're going to put our own path system up there with some steps. And then we're going to put some shops up there so people will actually go there. I fixed it off camera. You'll see me try and put the shop up there and it looks kind of weird. Because it kind of cuts into the actual uh, p pillars. I fixed that off camera. You might be able to see it in the first person point of view walkthrough at the end. Uh, but I'll, I'll have to point it out in a future video. But it looks a lot nicer. Basically I just had them go through the walls. Just because I just wanted people to go up there. And the only way to get people to go places is to have some sort of attraction or convenience. So we put shops up there. We put a hat store, and I even went down and removed the drink store in one of the buildings downstairs, or in the main city, just so people would be forced to go up there. But see, now we have this hole, and it's kind of ugly, but we fix it later. I, I forgot to do that on camera. But I think it would just be cool. See, I go and remove that. <laughs> I think it would be cool to see people go up there. And there they go. They're starting to walk up there. So you can see them from the entrance of the park. You can see little people walking around up on top of the castle wall, or the, the city wall. Looks pretty, pretty cool. And then we're doing stuff where we started combining buildings, actually. You'll see me do that at some point. Uh, it actually comes up pretty cool. But I love these big buildings, like how narrow it is in there and how like, cramped. I love that. It's so cool. Ah, I love how that feels. Especially when we get the lights in there and stuff. You'll see it at the walkthrough at the end. Like, it's kind of big and weird looking and not really spread out. I mean, well, it's a theme park, so you think it'd be more convenient, but... I imagine it's more like a, a recreation of a medieval city, so it's going to be cramped and tight, but looks pretty cool. This, I wasn't really sure what to do. I know I wanted to give it some sort of covering, but I wasn't. I didn't want to build like a whole building. This is kind of like an outdoor 
covered area with some sort of awning. Uh, the first attempt doesn't come out so good. We just have these kind of grid pieces laying around. And it looks kind of wacky and gross. At some point I realized I'm doing it wrong, so I built just a uh, uh, individual roof piece. Or a freestanding roof piece and kind of go over it. But again, experimentation. That's half the fun of this, right? Not everything's going to work immediately when I first try it. It takes a little bit of tinkering, figuring out what I got going on. Moving things around. Just trying to fill in the area. Added some wooden supports all the way around, but it looks a little better. Not bad. And there is some more detail and stuff I do off camera. I think I did. I don't remember if I was filming or not when I did that. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Because <laughs> I don't really know what to show and what not to show. Uh, a lot of lighting and stuff. You'll see that in the actual final walkthrough. It's hard doing the lighting because these uh, lamps don't really get off too much light. But... Uh, I added some spotlights and stuff throughout, so it looks a little bit better. Again, just trying to fill in this space underneath that Ferris wheel. It's because you can't really put stuff too close to it, so we kind of had a lot of empty room. A lot of empty space. And then just trying to fill in some more of the space, adding uh, similar to the structure we had over there. Just some sort of covering for the entrance, kind of like under construction or maybe like a mine area. People said that I should remove that plane ride. It doesn't really make sense. I'm going to leave it for now. Suspense should have disbelief, but just pretend it's something else. <laughs> we don't really have any other rides that would fit in the theme park, so... Uh, airplanes will be fine. I'll get over it. We'll just pretend something else. If, if we get something else in the future, maybe an Alpha 3 will come back and change it. But for now, it's good. And then just trying to figure out some more plants and stuff, because I didn't want actual foliage anywhere inside the city. But these are okay, because they're actually like potted plants inside of a barrel, so... It looks alright. Oh, look at the dinosaur! The little dinosaur mascot. I love that guy. And there's adding some detailing around here. And yeah. I think we're about finishing up here. If memory serves, just adding some pathing all the way around there, filling up the area. And then we actually add another uh, staircase up to the wall on the other side. But here we go. Look at this. Oh, it's so cool looking. I love how the city came out. Ah, it's so dense. I love it. We still have some detail to do, probably do some of that off camera, but the overhangs with the balconies... Oh, I love it. And then you have the entrance to the Whirly Rig. Looks real nice. Look at that! With the cloth the, the cloth awnings over it, and all the different details and the walls, and different colors. Ah, it just feels so cool. I love this park. I freaking love it. I was a little worried about the focus of this park, having such limited detail in seals. Oop, that was a little bit of an error. <laughs> But I think it came out awesome. I especially love those lights. Those are really cool looking. Really, they fit perfectly over this size road, so it really makes you feel like you're like going through an alley or something. <sighs> love it, love it, love it. See, now's the part of the episode where I just toot my own horn. Because I spent so long building this, I'm like, okay, is this going to look good? I have no idea if this is going to look good. Oh, lo and behold, I like it. I hope you guys do too. It really means a lot. Uh, everybody, uh... Discussing the builds and thinking about it and talking about it. And I like I like having a discussion going. Oh, we do have some foliage right there. I lied. We have... Uh, they're kind of self-contained, those little boxes, but... You know. That's okay. <laughs> oh, I need to work on the inside of this. I forgot to do that. Because you can still see the yellow right entrance. But look how massive this ferris wheel looks. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Look at that. And there's the other line right there for the, for the ferris wheel. So it's all nice and cramped. Another house. And the view from the wall, it's so cool, like King Coaster and Lockjaw down there, you can see King's Lake, and the entrance to the park. Oh man, I love it. Well, if you guys did love it, leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, leave a comment, something, something, something. I'll see you next time for some more Planet Coaster. Bye.